Okay, so this one says what's the, this is exactly the same as the last problem we did, um, except different compound. So it says what is the molar solubility of lead 2 chloride with a KSP of 1.6 times 10 to the 6th? Okay, so first thing we have to do is write the chemical equation, right? So lead 2 chloride, do you remember? You mean CL. Cl2, very good. Equilibrium. So it's going to be here, Pb2 plus. Okay. And could we figure out the equation for the KSB? Um, From that chemical equation there? The concentration of. Lead ions mm -hmm. times the concentration of chloride to the two yes. squared, right? Okay. Um, and so we know KSP. So this here equals that there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are looking for, and I believe it's at the molar solubility because that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and remember, the molar solubility. moles per liter, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and that's the molar solubility we want to think of lead to chloride, okay? And remember what we were kind of thinking is kind of like the concentration of lead to chloride, right? So, if we know that, then we know that, and that's two times that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this, but Going back to it, we don't know that. That's what we're trying to figure out, right? So, um, but we do know the ratio of this to this to this, mm -hmm. okay? So, what we can do, so if we're, we need to figure out what these concentrations are, but we can figure them out relatively. So, the concentration of lead, if we just say that that's x, right, or whatever your favorite variable is, um, concentration of Cl, what does that have to be? 2. 2x, two two X. X, right? Where did you get that from? Well, you got it from the coefficient here. Because for every one lead, there's two of these, right? Okay. So now we know those relative con concentrations from the chemical equation, and we can plug them into this equation here. Okay, so what do we got? We've got the KSP equals um, x times 2x, all of it, squared, right? So let's solve for x, okay? So solving for x, we're going to get, well, on this side, KSP, and we'll just say x, and we'll do this function. So 2 squared is 4, x squared is that x squared, right? Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 4x squared times x is going to be x cubed, right? 4x Four Four cubed, right? So that's going to equal 4x cubed equals KSP. Mm -hmm. Okay. So x cubed is going to be... KSP divided by 4, mm -hmm. and if we wanted to, so let's do it this time to the one third, okay, we'll show it. It's going to be KSP divided by 4 to the one third. So that's the same as saying the cube root, the cube root of, okay? So let's just plug it, plug in. So. Well, the only thing we need to plug in is KSP, right? And we've got that thing up here. So remember, X up here is molar solubility. So, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 4. And that's the way you want to plug it in on your calculator, too. Yeah. 
one, so I got seven point four times ten to the negative three mole. Early is the molar solubility of lead two chloride at what did we say? It didn't even give us the temperature, at whatever temperature that is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I think we beat these problems into the ground, right? <laughs> okay. Do you, you want to kill that one? Sure. Are there any questions?